Oh yeah. Good morning, welcome back to a bit of a vlog style video. Over the next few days, I'm gonna be heading to Berlin um, for the launch of the Invincible 3 with Nike and the team at ProDirect running. Excited to announce that I'm officially partnering up with ProDirect for 2023. So hopefully we'll bring you some discount codes, some giveaways, um, and it will also mean in my videos now, I'll have a link to ProDirect running. Um, it's just a bit of an affiliate link for me. If you want to support the channel to buy some new shoes, that's a great way of doing so. Off to Berlin today um, with Nike. Made sure I've got all my Nike gear on so that I'm on brand. Um, and yeah, the Invincible 3 comes out at the start of February. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving that shoe a try, um, having used the Invincible 1 and 2 so much in my daily rotation. It looks like a complete redesign. Uh, they still got the Zoom X in the midsole, but the upper and the way the sort of uh, Zoom X is moulded looks completely different. So I'm excited to hear a little bit more about this uh, new shoe. Hopefully we'll get a look at the Vaporfly 3 as well. Um, may not get the chance to run in it, but hopefully we'll get some glimpses of that shoe out in Berlin as well. Um, but I plan to bring the camera along with me the whole of the way. We're flying out to uh, Berlin today. The travel's been a little bit um, sketchy, but I'll talk you through that as it goes. Um, but yeah, should be a good adventure. So I just drove down to Stansted, put the car in the short stay. Um, just about to go through airport security and meet the guys. As I was saying, travel's been a little bit difficult uh, because we initially were flying directly to Berlin, um, but that airport has got strikes all day. So I think 860 flights have been canceled. So we've actually got to fly to Dresden um, and then get on a train and go, which will take two hours um, to get to Berlin. And I don't even know where Dresden is. I think it's in Germany, but it could be in Poland. Uh, I'm not sure, so I don't even know where I'm flying to. Uh, but it's all part of the adventure. Um, travel was a little bit last minute, but all here in one piece. Got my passport, got my wallet, got my shoes. So that's all that matters. Um, yeah, really looking forward to this one. just arrived at my hotel in Berlin. Here's my room, made a mess of it already. Um, we've just arrived, it is now half past six. So I left the house this morning at about eight o'clock and we finally got here at 6.30. We had to take um, three trains in total to get here to Berlin. Um, unfortunately, as I was saying, there was strikes in the airport today. Um, so we had to fly to Dresden in Germany and then get a, a two and a half hour um, train journey in. Um, so we've just arrived and I've got a 10 mile easy run, easy pace run this evening. Um, so I'm going to head out in the dark now um, and it's one degrees here. Um, we've literally just arrived and I'm going to go out for a run otherwise this one won't get done. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for, for today. Just going to go out for a little a little 10 miler and uh, yeah, tomorrow is when all the fun begins with Nike. So yeah, see you in a bit. So it's now the next day. Got out yesterday for my 10 miler. Ended up getting getting rolling. Um, felt pretty good actually. Went for a nice little explore around Berlin. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna head down to breakfast, find the boys, the rest of the ProDirect team, and then yeah, head to the Nike event. Oh, got some lights gone. So we are on the way to the Nike event now. Just met up with Alex Felitti. Hey guys. Uh, make sure you check out his YouTube channel and Instagram. Um, he'll also be covering um, some of the event. So today's event out here um, with Nike is the launch of the Invincible 3. Um, I've actually uh, held it, but I haven't ran in it just yet. So that's what we're gonna be doing this afternoon. Um, hopefully take the Invincible 3 for a bit of a test run. Um, but we're not really sure what the event's got in, in store for us. It's, all we know is it's from 2 till 5.30. Um, so yeah, we could be, do, could be doing anything really, but um, we're just on the way there now. So I'll bring you along and you can see what it's all about. Just found this sign, Nike Invincible Experience, this way. Where are we going? Got an adventure, eh? 
found another sign, must be this way. Another sign, and here it is. Nike Invincible, must be through here I reckon. Thank you very much. Cheers. Here we are, we've got the goods. Nike Invincible experience in the right place. Everyone's just getting their bits and bobs. Alex has got his. All good? Yeah. Let's go try them on. Forwards. Can't wait to try these. So we've just got into the Nike HQ here in Berlin. We've been given these goodie bags. Uh, let me show you what's inside. Got the new Nike Invincible 3 here. The slipper version with my name on it. That's pretty cool. The trousers, very long sleeve, some socks, some short shorts, plain white Nike tee. All got changed into the same outfits. So now, now all the ambassadors look exactly the same. Um, this one's tops really nice actually, very, very warm. Got my Nike slippers on as well. Pretty chuffed about those. I'm just gonna head through to the main area. There we go, Nike Invincible. That's the first look at the Invincible 3. Um, feel it to believe it. Even the walls here have got foam on. Squishy stuff. Wow, look at this. Feel it to believe it. Hi guys, you right? Behind the scenes is a wild Jerry Sun. <laughs> Capturing content. <laughs> Welcome to the Nike Invincible Experience. There's pillows on the ground for a reason, so why don't you all get comfortable, have a seat. Look for your name and you will see how to through. Through the curtains. There we are. That's my name. And there it is, the Invincible Free. Look at that. Snazzy stuff. So we've just got the Invincible 3 on our feet. Moving on to the next section, into a new room. I know about the shoe. Someone a very special here. We have our own product <coughs> line manager, uh, Jesse Olsen, joining us. Let's give, it, let's give him a round of applause. For us, it really was a journey, and that started about four years ago for us when we set out to create the very first Invincible. And with any really good innovation, it started with a question, and that was, can we do it? And a little bit more specifically, what I mean by that is, can we take the highest performance foam in the industry, that being ZoomX, and can we take it and create a shoe that runners are able to lace up every day, their training runs, that combines the performance benefits of maximum cushioning and responsiveness. The one and the two also featured a second rocker, so another concave shape here in the forefoot. We've removed that in this version. The reason we did that is that then, uh, by making sure that we've removed that and made it a little bit wider in terms of the midsole nets, that you create something that's still cushioned, but now you have additional support and stability. So it should still feel like the Invincible, but having that improvement in terms of it being a lot more stable. We also have another two experts who are going to be joining us here today. We have former world record holder and marathon legend Paula Radcliffe along with two-time Olympian and two-time bronze medalist Laura Waitman. You are a marathon legend and one of the fastest ever. Um, what is one of your most memorable race moments you said? Ah, um... I mean, I think the first time that I ever raced a marathon, so when I ran the London Marathon on my debut in 2002, um, is a moment that I'll never forget because it felt like I'd come full circle. So I went down to watch the London Marathon when I was about 11. And my dad was running and I saw Ingrid Christensen set the women's world record that day. And it kind of spawned a goal in my mind that one day I wanted to be able to do that. And then I grew up watching the London Marathon and to be out there leading it um, and winning it with all of the support for a British person on the streets in London was really, really special. So that was, even though I ran quicker afterwards, mm -hmm. that was really special. But then my last one was also very, very special, even though it was my slowest one ever. Um, because it was kind of 
my body achieving my goal that I wanted to finish on my terms, not when the injury dictated it. Um, and kind of to just point the shoe guys worked so much with me, even though I was not at that point an elite athlete, but just trying to pull things together as much as possible just to be able to, to get me around. So I wanted it to end because everything was hurting, but I didn't really want it to end. <laughs> Let Paula say in there, but home crowd. For me, London 2012 Olympics was my first senior championship for Great Britain. So I was really thrown in at the deep end of the home Olympic Games. And for me, it just exceeded all expectations of what I imagined the Olympics would be. And I think really that the home crowd and the atmosphere, it just really made you elevate your game and really perform at a higher level. And yes, in my career, I've gone on to win medals and run some fast times, but for me, that that'll always be one of the pinnacle moments. So I just had the opportunity to run in the Invincibles for the first time on the treadmill. That was a pretty cool experience, um, only for 45 seconds, so can't quite give you a, a first impressions yet. But um, yeah, what a cool experience to make a little reel there. Just gonna go on to the, to the next part of this experience. So we just did our pre-stretches before our run. We've all been assembled uh, a treadmill. Not run on a treadmill that looks like this before. Got everyone else around here. And it looks like we're gonna go for a run in the new Invincibles. There's no other than Paula Radcliffe right. over here. She's gonna be up there leading the run. Um, yeah, it should be a really good experience. So we just finished up the event, I'm all hot and sweaty now. Um, we did a three kilometer sort of interval style run there on the treadmills with Paula, which was pretty, yeah, pretty special to do something like that. Just having a little wander round now at the, um, at the Nike headquarters. Here we have the, um, the shoe that we've been running in today, Invincible 3. This one's been cut in half. Um, so you can sort of see that there's no plate in this one, um, just a big wad of Zoom X. On the side, there's a little bit of a, a plastic um, add-on here to give you a bit more stability in the sort of heel area. Um, and yeah, that would be my feedback from trying this shoe compared to the two. Feels a little bit more stable. It's got a slightly wider uh, platform when you land. So let me see if I can show you with this cut out here. Um, definitely when you, when you land on your forefoot, um, this area of the shoe feels a lot wider um, than the first one. Zoom X feels the same in terms of uh, the drop. It was a nine mil drop in the Invincible 2 and there's now a nine mil drop in the Invincible 3. So that nothing's changed in terms of that. In terms of the stack height, apparently it's now 40 millimeters in the heel, dropping it to uh, 31 in the forefoot. That's a, a one millimeter increase for both the heel and the forefoot. But yeah, it's really fun to, to come down to Nike today and experience the launch of the Invincible 3. And um, there's all these cool sorts of stuff around. See if I can find something else. Here we've got some scales showing the weight of the shoes. There's about three or four pairs in there, so I don't think the weight is too, is too accurate. It says 100 grams. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. So there we go, that pretty much summarizes my experience here in Berlin um, with the Nike Invincible Free event. Hope you enjoyed that. A little bit of behind the scenes. Um, I'll make a separate video talking you through uh, my thoughts on the shoe. Oh, hi guys, you all right? How'd you find that? I was really cool. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to a shower now. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we all got really sweaty. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching again. Inspire to run. Run to inspire. And we'll see you again soon.